Hello, uh, welcome to this hardware special. I'm Dave, uh, PC Games Ends Hardware Editor. And I'm Rich. My hardware assistant for now. <laughs> um, okay, so today we're showing off the new Radeon RX Vega, a new toy that AMD have just sent us. So without further ado, got a little shiny little sleeve. Mm. It's, uh, well, oh, well, it's already, that's happened prematurely, but never mind. It just, um, just popped out. Even the top like this, and it sort of falls apart quite nicely. This weird crystal thing which is supposed to sit in this little chamber here, but you know, you can take that out, have a look at it. Yeah, I don't think it's performance related. So no. <laughs> just, just, a little, just a little Vega crystal. Probably mm. not going to put that in your PC. Crystal cube. No. Um, but here is the main event. This is the good stuff. The card itself in this uh, lovely black oh. presentation box. And that comes off and here it is. There she is. That's Vega. So this is the consumer version of the AMD Vega processor. Um, so this is their top-end graphics card. It's the first time they've released a high-end graphics card for about two years after the RX Fury, the R9 Fury X, sorry. Right. Um, and this is the card that they are trying to go head-to-head -head with the GTX 1080. So inside there, AMD Vega 10 GPU. So that's 4,096 GCN cores. So that's a lot of cores. Lots of cores. Um, eight gigabytes of high bandwidth memory and a massive 2048-bit memory bus. Now, considering the GTX 1080 has got a 384-bit memory bus, there's, there's, there's quite a disparity in terms of the performance with the memory side. Okay, right. Okay. And uh, So what else have we got in here? We've got another little box over here. If we could just squeeze that out. Tightly packed, tightly packed. And in here, we've got some lovely AMD jewelry. You may, you may, you may have that. Thank you very much. And it. also some, some Little, yeah, these are stickers, aren't badges, they? Badges, sticker things, mm, pieces lovely. of paper that you know aren't really important. But this is the cool thing. So this, this is a little mock up of the actual um, the chip itself. Yeah, so this is the GPU that sits inside there. Um, so this is the Vega 10. Here it is. And what are we looking at here exactly? Okay, so on here we've got um, you can actually see the high bandwidth memory because this is a different configuration to normal memory. Um, traditional graphics cards will have their frame buffer, their video memory arrayed around the outside of it. Right. Whereas this is directly on the chip, to give it the, which is what gives it the high performance. Also makes it a little bit more expensive too. <laughs> so that's these two little blobs here. So there's the high bandwidth memory, and that's the AMD GPU itself. Cool. Okay, so that's what's in the box. Right, and back to the uh, the GPU itself. Does it do anything special? Is there anything uh, flashy or new about it? Okay, so I mean, so what AMD have done here is they they've put in some quite sort of future looking features into the graphics architecture itself. Right. First of that is a thing called rapid packed math, oh, which gosh. is all very exciting. Basically, it's the ability for the GPU to be able to process um, two mathematical instructions for the price of one. Right. So essentially, it should speed things up. Okay, cool. And there are any uh, imminent gains about to take advantage of that? Funny you should say that, Rich. Isn't it? Um, <laughs> it's actually going to be uh, featured in the new Wolfenstein game. So Wolfenstein 2, um, the new, a new Colossus. Cool. That's going to be um, featuring in that. It's also going to be appearing in Far Cry 5 as well. Right. And the devs have said that um, that'll make Far Cry 5 run faster um, with a higher frame rate and a more stable frame rate on AMD Vega GPUs. So okay, cool. it could create an interesting disparity when Far Cry 5 comes out. We're also um, we're seeing the first iteration of AMD's high bandwidth cache controller. Um, so this is this is a feature that, that links in with the high bandwidth memory that they're using with this. Right. Um, which is slightly different to the graphics memory that you will have seen in most other um, graphics cards. Uh, the high bandwidth cache controller, HBCC for short, um, that basically allows you to use all the memory and the storage space in your existing system to feature as kind of like a virtual um, oh, video cool. memory. So uh, lot, lots, lots more, you know, loading assets in open world games, longer draw distances, that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the trend is is towards sort of like these massive open world games. Mm -hmm. So AMD is seeing sort of like a future where eight gigabytes isn't going to be enough, but right, they're yeah. saying that with this card, with the HPCC stuff you'll be able to move beyond that even with this same card. Very exciting. That's all good. Okay, so we hear that this is uh, Radeon's attempt to you know, rival the 1080. Um, with that in mind, what kind of price point are we looking at? Okay, so we're looking at um, price points for standalone retail, suggested retail price of this, the RX Vega 64. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the sort of like um, top-end air-cooled version. That's gonna be $499, so about $500. Right. And about 
that's probably going to be about 500 pounds as well with okay, just a standard yeah. conversion that's just terrific isn't it there, so compared with the gtx 1080 yeah. which are around 550 dollars okay so around that sort of price so it's, it's 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 pretty close ideally this should be cheaper but that depends on whether the retailers actually go with the suggested retail price. Generally, with right. brand new graphics cards, you'll see prices a little bit higher. Mm. So hopefully they'll tumble down pretty quickly. There is also a second tier card as well, which is the RX Vega 56. Um, that's got a slightly cut down GPU, so I think 3,584 GCN cores in that. Okay. Um, and that's a little bit cheaper, so that's 399. Um, so that could be quite a tasty one if that performs as people are suggesting, which is like a little bit more than a 1070. Right. Um, but that's just for the basic black versions like these. Right, the uh, basic blur fan here. Yeah, I mean, you might have seen um, in some of the promotional materials that there were these like shiny metallic framed ones. Right. Unfortunately, those are only going to be available, and the water cooled one as well, are only going to be available in the Radeon packs. Uh, right, and these, these are a little bit complicated, aren't they? Yeah, this is where it gets all a bit weird. Okay. Um, these are essentially graphics card bundles, right? And they're a hundred dollars more than the standalone price. Okay, and, they and come for with, that, come with games. And things. Yeah, so with that you get a pair of games. Mm -hmm. So in the US and UK, that's Wolfenstein Two and Prey. Cool. So pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, in the rest of Europe, I think they they swap out Wolfenstein for Sniper Elite Four. So. That's still pretty Unlucky. good. <laughs> Tough times. Um, but the weird thing is, you also get um, two hundred dollars off uh, a Samsung FreeSync monitor, mm -hmm. and a hundred dollars off uh, a CPU combination with motherboard of, um, I think it's either the Ryzen 7 1700X or 1800X right. with a compatible motherboard. Okay. The catch is that you have to buy all that at once. So if you it's go for pretty, the bundle, pretty steep. Yeah. So if you get yeah. in the bundle, you want your discounts, you've got to go and blow all that cash straight away. So it's a bit of a bit of a strange one. Mm. Yeah, that is odd. And there we are, the Radeon RX Vega 64. Um, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, it's out on Monday, is that right? Yeah, so the cards launch on Monday. Um, so that's Monday the 14th of August. Mm -hmm. And that's when we'll have final review and final performance numbers too. So the interesting stuff. So do check back for that. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Follow the channel. Uh, plenty more PC gaming news in general and hardware specifically Indeed. on our YouTube channel and on our website, so check it out. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care. Thanks for watching, bye.